Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm Senior Experimental Officer for the Sustainable Materials Innovation Hub. Our lab is part funded by the ERDF and also the Henry Royce Institute. We go and do research into plastic materials usage. We also have a bit of a consultancy where we can go and provide advice, assess and innovation ideas for small medium enterprise businesses that have a footprint in Greater Manchester. So this is our end of life lab and we call it that because the kit in here is basically used to process polymers at the end of their product life. So we have a few bits of equipment in here. We've got our industrial composter. That goes and enables us to go and test compostable plastics. We can also try and work out how long a new compostable plastic would take to compost under these conditions here. Here are our extruders. One of the ways that plastics go and get recycled is by a process called mechanical recycling. So we can do all sorts with these. We can go and work out how many times a material can be recycled before it starts to fail or lose the properties that make it useful. And we can also mark plastics to go and work out how much recycled content there is. We also have our compression moulder here. Essentially what we do with that is we can go and take plastics, either output from the extruders or brand new plastic pellets, melt them down and form them into different shapes and then we can then go and use those for subsequent testing to go and check out things like mechanical properties, thermal properties as well. So welcome to our instrument lab. In here we have lots of equipment that enable us to go and characterise different plastics or polymers. On this side, we have our gel permeation chromatography suite. What this essentially does is gives us information on our polymer chain length. Over here is our main thermal analysis island. We have rheology, so that's how materials flow. And at the back, we've got mechanical testing in the form of a dynamic mechanical analyzer. In this far corner here, we have our SDT. What that can do is essentially go and measure mass changes as a function of temperature. So we use it quite a lot for trying to understand when our polymers can decompose. This is an infrared ellipsometer, which is quite unique because most of them have visible lasers on. That will give us information on our thin films, but enables us also to do some depth profiling as well. This is our main synthesis lab. In here we have 23 fume hoods. And in terms of research that goes on here, we do all sorts from polymerization, so making polymers, depolymerization, so unmaking polymers, things like trying to optimize chemical recycling as well. And so this is our air sensitive area. Here we have three glove boxes. They're all under argon and they enable everyone to work with chemicals that can't get exposed to oxygen. We use these as part of our polymer making or unmaking processes. What's nice about the three labs together is that anything that we learn in the end of life lab gets fed through to synthesis and synthesis into end of life, also the instrument lab as well. So the labs are all talking to each other and all the findings help us improve our science. So I hope that walk around has given you an idea about the capability of the Sustainable Materials Innovation Hub.